Tesla, tell him. Confimento. Wait a second. What is your role again? I'm a wizard. See, I have a wand. I thought I was the wizard in this party. Can we clarify our roles a little bit before we get any deeper into this dungeon? You know, keeping track of custom roles on GCP using Deployment Manager is so much easier than this. Great, let's do that instead. To build this yourself, first you must make sure that the Deployment Manager API and the Identity and Access Management API are enabled in your API library. If they aren't, enable both and give it a few minutes to propagate before trying this out. Next, if you want to follow along with the exact demo, you can clone the contents from the GitHub repo linked in the description. I want to start by showing you the roles that already exist in my project. It's pretty minimal, and most are predefined. When we're finished, we'll have a new custom role listed here. Let's move on to explore the contents of this GitHub repo I've cloned in the Cloud Shell. You'll see three different types of files, each existing at the project and organization levels. Let's dig into the project level for the purposes of this demo. The YAML file is called a configuration. Configurations describe resources and their properties, such as the name, description, and permissions. This is what will hold the custom role permissions for the demo. The second file type is a schema. These files specify all possible properties for a given resource and their default values. Finally, there are templates, which can be Jinja or Python files. Templates enhance configuration files by allowing you to break it down into reusable parts for the deployment manager. So let's go ahead and create a deployment. I'll use the YAML config file to create a custom role that gives me permissions to manage all of the descriptions of the spells that I know in Google Cloud Storage. We'll give it a minute to finish, and if all goes according to plan, we should see the completed state with no errors. I can now go into the IAM console, jumping down to roles, and sort by custom. If I click into the role that was created, I can see the permissions that it was given in the YAML configuration file. That all seems great, but what if I level up and want to make changes to the role that I've deployed? Funny that you ask. Let's jump back into our YAML configuration. I'm going to change our stage from EAP to Alpha and add a new permission so now I can upload objects. Instead of creating another new deployment, I'm going to update my existing deployment referencing the same configuration file. Back in the console, we can refresh the IAM role page and see right away that the role stage has been upgraded to alpha and our extra permission was added. That really makes this process super easy for managing custom roles. I finally understand who can do what job. It really does. And the great thing is, if a person is assigned a custom role, changes to the role take effect as soon as the role is updated. If you enjoyed this video, subscribe below for more Google Cloud content and comment to tell us what you'd like to learn about in our next episode. Thanks for watching.